today class 4 agroecology cropping patterns as indicators of environment agroecology definition agroecology is an integrated approach that simultaneously applies ecological and social concepts and principles to the design and management of food and agriculture systems it seeks to optimize the interactions between plants animals humans and the environment while taking into consideration the social aspects that need to be addressed for the sustainable and fair food system. Agroecology is not a new invention. It has found expressions in family farmers' practices, in grassroots social movements for sustainability and the public policies of various countries around the world. More recently, agroecology has entered the discourse of international and UN institutions. It's not only conventional, monoculture-based industrial approach, but also sustainable, regenerative farming systems that improve the well-being of small-scale farmers. It creates diversity to make food production resilient to a changing and unpredictable climate and produce sufficient food wills, enhancing biodiversity. Agroecological principles for productive and sustainable agriculture. Enhance recycling of biomass and optimizing nutrient availability and balancing nutrient flow. Securing f favorable soil conditions for plant growth, particularly by managing organic matter and enhancing soil biotic activity. Minimizing losses due to flows of solar radiation, air and water by ways of microclimate management, water harvesting and soil management through increased soil cover species and genetics diversification of the agroecosystem in time and space enhanced beneficial biological interactions and synergisms among agrobiodiversity components thus resulting in the promotion of key ecological processes and services these principles can be applied by the way of various techniques and strategies each of these will have different effects on productivity, stability, and resiliency within the farm system. Depending on the local opportunities, resources, constraints, and in most cases on the market. The ultimate goal of agroecological design is to integrate components so that overall biological efficiency is improved, biodiversity is preserved, and the agroecosystem productivity and its self-sustaining capacity is maintained. The goal is to design a quiet quilt of agroecosystems within a landscape unit, each mimicking the structure and function of natural ecosystems. Factors of agroecology By identifying important properties of agroecological systems and approaches, as well as the key considerations in developing and enabling environment for agroecology, the elements are a guide for policy makers practitioners and stakeholders in planning, managing and evaluating agroecological transitions. Diversity Diversification is the key to agroecological transitions to ensure food security and nutri nutrition while conserving, protecting and enhancing natural resources. Synergies Building synergies enhances key functions across food systems supporting production and multiple ecosystem services. Efficiency. Innovative agroecological practices produce more using less external resources. Resilience. Enhanced resilience of people, communities, and ecosystem is key to sustainable food and agriculture systems. Recycling. More recycling means agriculture production with lower economic and environmental costs. Co-creation and sharing of knowledge. Agriculture innovations respond better to local challenges when they are co-created through participatory processes. Human and social values. Protecting and improving rural livelihoods, equity and social well-being is essential for sustainable food and agriculture systems. Culture and food traditions. By supporting health, healthy, diversified and culturally appropriate diets, agroeconomic contributes to food security and nutrition while maintaining the health of ecosystems. Enabling environment responsible governance. 
Sustainable food and agriculture requires responsible and effective governance mechanisms at different scales, from local to national to global. Cir circular and solidary economy. Circular and solidary economy that reconnects producers and consumers provide innovative solutions for living within our planetary boundaries while ensuring the social foundation for inclusive and sustainable development. Agroecological farming. It, ne it is needed to preserve natural resources. This includes recycling nutrients and energy on the farm rather than using external inputs. Integrating crop and live livestock farming. Diversifying species and focusing on the ways in which crops and livestock can mutually benefit each other rather than on individual species. What makes agroecology distinct? Agroecology is fundamentally different from other approaches to sustainable development. It is based on bottom-up and territorial processes having to deliver contextualized solutions to local problems. Agroecological innovations are based on the co-creation of knowledge combining science with the traditional, practical and local knowledge of producers. By enhancing their autonomy and adaptive capacity, agroecology empowers producers and communities as key agents of change. Rather than tweaking the practices of unsustainable agriculture systems, agroecology seeks to transform food and agriculture systems, addressing the root causes of problems in an integrated way and providing holistic and long-term solutions. This includes an implicit focus on social and economic dimensions of food systems. Agroecology places a strong focus on the rights of women, youth, and indigenous peoples. Next, benefits of sustainable agroecology. An agroecological approach recognizes the multidimensional aspects of agriculture and facilitates a broad range of sustainable benefits as below. An eco-friendly agriculture, increased ecological resilience, and reduced risk of environmental degradation, natural resource conservation, improved health and nutrition, economic stability, climate change management via reduced fossil fuel consumption, increased energy efficiency, increased carbon sequestration, and moisture retention in soil, increased social resilience and stability, agroecosystems and agriculture practices. Agroecosystems are large areas where commercial crops are cultivated, crop plants are sown and harvested by humans for economic purposes. They are also known as crop ecosystems and mostly cultivated as monoculture, growing only one type of crop on the entire field or sometimes growing two or more crop species in the same field at the same time. Characteristics of agroecosystems They are highly simplified ecosystems supporting monoculture of a crop species. Species diversity is lowest, highly unstable and non, not self-sustaining. Attracts weeds and sus susceptible to plants diseases. Soil or poor deficient in nutrients require supplements of chemical or fertilizers. Need artificial irrigation and water management. Dependent on human care and management. Economic importance of agroecosystem. Agroecosystem fulfill the basic requirements of food, fruits, edible oils, etc. Good quality grains can be produced with high yield. Provides livelihood to large number of people. More than 70% of Indian population depends on agriculture. Disadvantages of agroecosystem. Large scale monoculture of agriculture crops results in severe loss of nat native biodiversity, including genetic diversity of crop plants. High yielding varieties of crop plants are more susceptible to disease. Example smut of sugarcane, maize, and sorghum, and rust of wheat and basra are common plant diseases. To protect crop from pests and diseases, require large scale use of pesticides and chemicals which pollute the environment. Deplete groundwater in many areas due to well irrigation. Runoff water from agriculture field laden uh, with fertilizers and uh, pesticides pollute river lakes and ponds. Future of agroecology. 
the challenge of feeding 9 billion people by 2050 can can be met without any problem through getting back to agroecological methods for increasing nutritional yields and reducing the environmental impact and addressing the food wastage or loss at different stages from farm to table vis-a-vis -vis market access for small hold farm family farms agroecological practices enhance on farm fertility productions malawian farmers call it a fertilizer factory in the fields these practices reduce farmers reliance on external inputs and state subsidies this in turn makes vulnerable smallholders less dependent on local retailers and money lenders cropping pattern as indicators of environment loss of natural habitat farming can lead to the loss of natural habitat one of the most significant natural habitats for human for the indian flora and fauna in the forest however thousands of hectares of forest has been removed and the rest is still under threat this is destroying natural habitat and changing the very nature and looks of our rural landscape increased mechanization in agriculture encourages farmers to increase the size of their fields farmers to increase the available land and reduce the potential disease from stagnant water have drained ponds this removes another habitat for birds fish insects and plants the soil itself is an ecosystem and inappropriate farming techniques can lead to soil erosion or grazing uh, or cultivation and deforestation all damage the soil making it more prone to the effect of erosion Water will also wash away soil. In some instances, this is a consequence of poor farming techniques. If the soil has a low organic content, then runoff is increased as there is less to soak up the moisture. Runoff of over the surface leads to erosion, especially if the soil is poorly bonded. Farmers often have to plow up and down slopes so creating channels that increase runoff and erosion in the developing world the pressure growing populations and foreign debts repayments has seen the removal of natural vegetation cover to make way for cash croppings this removes pre precious habitats and can increase soil erosion as happened in brazilian rainforest fields in other areas example bali Subsistence farming have to form very steep slope because of the population pressures. Wills terracing reduces erosion indication uh, in Indonesia is still facing major problems. Use of chemicals. As farmers attempt to increase yields so they can increase their use of fertilizer, pesticides or slurry, each of these can have potentially damaging effects on the environment. Fertilizers and slurry are used to increase the nitrogen content of the soil, so encouraging healthy plant growth. If too much is used, then it can be leached into the groundwater and supplies and river. This is called eutrophication. It then encourages algal and plant growth in the, in the river or lake. Pesticides are another problem. Without pesticide, crop yields would be drastically reduced but many objectors claim pesticides are harmful to women impact of climate uh, impact of changing climate on cropping pattern and agriculture production definition cropping pattern mean the proportion of area under different crops at a point of time changes in this distribution over time and factors determining these changes intensifying crop production and addressing climate change must be done in an integrated and sustainable way. Crop production is highly sensitive to climate. A climate changes. As climate changes, crop production strategies must change too. First, increase atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide. A higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will have different effects on different crops. In C3 plants, the photosynthesis relies on the concentration of carbon dioxide that is naturally available in the atmosphere. Plant grows at higher concentrations of carbon dioxide have low stomatal con conductance and transpiration. Next second, 
temperature alterations. In general, crops are most sensitive to high temperatures at the reproductive stage and grain filling or fruit maturation stage. However, plants' responses to each type of the temperature alterations in species to specific and mediated through both photosynthetic activity for biomass accumulation which is responsible for plant growth and the phenological and morphological changes which occur during plant development. 3. Changes in Precipitation Regimes Changes in precipitation regimes include changes in the seasonal mean, the timing and the intensity of individual rainfall events and the frequency and the length of droughts. The specific impacts of change in the precipitation regimes on crops vary significantly because around 80% of the cropped area in rainfed and produces 60% of world's food. Next, pets. Climate change modifies the interactions between plant and their pets in space and over time. Pets distribution will also respond to changes in cropping patterns to cope with the climate change. Major insect pets of cereals, pulses, vegetables and fruit crops which may move to temperate regions include cereal stem borers, uh, pod borers, aphids and white flies. The, the impacts of crop production on climate change. A large number of crop production practices contribute to emissions of greenhouse gas and in particular to carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. Soil degradation, for example, is a major driver of climate change. Changes in land cover that leave the soil less protected has in the mineralization of soil organic carbon, a process that releases carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane. Carbon dioxide emission sources include the burning of crop residues in the field, which also releases methane and nitrous oxide. The energy used in the field operations mainly for the mechanological tilling of the soil and pumping for irrigation. The production, transport and application of crop production inputs and the mineralization of soil organic carbon. Methane flux from soil to atmosphere is the net result of two bacterial processes that are strongly influenced by land use, land management and the type of soil. Methane production in, in strictly anoxic Microenvironments, methanogenesis, and methane consumption and o oxidation in aerobic microenvironments by methane oxidizing bacteria, methanotropes. Most nitrous oxide emissions are generated from manure during its storage and from humid and compacted soils in which nitrogen is present. Microbial transformation of nitrogen which can be caused by the application of synthetic fertilizers, animal waste, sea waste sludge and crop residues are responsible for nitrous oxide emissions through nitrification. The biological process by which ammonia is converted to nitrites and then nitrates and denitrification. The biological process by which nitrate is converted to nitrogen gas. Thank you.